A trendy franchise is expanding, and the idea came from a tree stump with some Jersey roots. We're telling you about some boozy treats made by two chicks with chocolate, and is the wild turkey situation in Jersey finally about to be under control? I'm Bianca Velasquez, and you're listening to Today in NJ on Thursday, November 14th. It's been a trendy bar game lately, and now New Jersey's first hatchet-throwing franchise, Stumpy's Hatchet House, is branching out with a new location in Mercer County, with another on deck. Stumpy's first opened in Eatontown in 2016, and it's been spreading through Jersey ever since. The name Stumpy's refers to the stump of a tree that fell during Hurricane Sandy, and the founders are from the Jersey Shore. It was two couples who were hanging out one day when the husbands were chopping wood in the backyard, and they made a game out of it, throwing axes at the stumps on the ground, and eventually it became a fun thing that they did at gatherings with friends. So they ended up adding a bullseye, and the rest just fell into place. These couples quit their day jobs to start a hatchet-throwing business, and while some people around them thought it might not be the best idea, it became a complete hit in Jersey. Now, I've never tried axe throwing myself, but from what I've heard, it could be pretty relaxing. The owners say anybody can do axe throwing and that it's not about strength or how hard you throw it. Everyone has their own twist. So people book the facility for corporate events, bachelor and bachelorette parties, or just to hang with a group of friends. Stumpy's isn't the only place to do this. You can find other businesses like it all around Jersey. So get to throwing. A woman named Alicia and her mother Barbara are just two chicks with chocolate, and they're breaking some rules to create booze-infused colorful chocolates for Jersey. They've created flavors like PB&J, lemongrass, sriracha caramel, and a whole series of other boozy things, including Maker's Mark, champagne, the list goes on. They even put booze-filled bonbons into an advent calendar a few years ago, and people went nuts for it. Plus, Two Chicks with Chocolate also offers classes at their locations in Metuchen and Middletown, where you can learn things like chocolate pizza making, wine or beer and chocolate pairings, even decorating chocolate high heels. Now, even though they've been in business for 10 years, the idea came about when Alicia's mom started tempering chocolate in a crock pot at home. She was making custom orders, Alicia was helping her sell them, and the business kind of just spread through word of mouth from there. All the chocolates are made with fresh ingredients and no preservatives, which is why they need to be eaten within a few weeks. And it's just another fun gift idea as the holidays come up with a nice Jersey touch too. Hopefully you all remember the wild Jersey turkeys we talked about here a few days ago, but to give you an update, Those dozens of wild turkeys that have been lurking around a Tom's River senior community will be removed within the next several days. So fish and wildlife workers set up baiting stations and they're continuing today to install netting to trap these turkeys. Apparently, they'll be collected within the next week. Even Todd Frazier, the former Mets and Yankees third baseman from Tom's River himself, took to Twitter to share a picture of turkeys completely surrounding his car in his driveway saying his family was actually attacked by a few of them around a year ago. The flock of turkeys have reportedly broken windows, and they even try to bite people. Turkeys are also known to get aggressive, though, when they see their reflection, but the Division of Fish and Wildlife suggests that you could put cardboard over windows to block those reflections. I mean, those are some angry birds. Thank you guys for listening to Today in NJ for your morning stories. We are that much closer to Friday, so I hope you guys have a great day. And if you have any suggestions for us, please send an email to podcasts at njadvancemedia.com. I'm Bianca Velasquez from the NJ.com newsroom, and thank you guys for listening. This is Acast Recommends. Every week we pick one of our favorite shows, and this is one we think you're going to love. When is walking into a bank not just walking into a bank? Finally, 445, I gotta rob this bank. The Score, Season 1, The Bank Robber Diaries, gets you into the mind of one of California's most prolific bank robbers. I would just terrify these people. Not only would they give me the cash, they would give me their terror. It made me feel strong. Turns out robbing a bank takes a lot more than just a plan or a gun. The Score, The Bank Robber Diaries, out now. ACAST is home to the biggest podcast from the U.S. and around the world. Subscribe to this show and hundreds more now via ACAST or wherever you get your podcasts.